I'm Dr. Karen Philbrick, and it's my pleasure to serve as the Executive Director of the Mineta Transportation Institute at San Jose State University. Thank you again for joining the Garrett Morgan Sustainable Transportation Competition in our new virtual platform. Let me begin with welcoming our student teams. First, we have Montessori Capital Campus with their teacher, Ms. Jill Kakalila, and their, their mentor, Tyler Monson from Caltrans District 1. Next, we have Aptos Middle School with their teacher, Matthew Chapman, and their mentor, Jonathan Kibrick. And finally today, we welcome the American Indian Child Resource Center, AICRC, with their teacher, Nazani Brown, and Caltrans District 4, Alfonso Miles. Much like Garrett Augustus Morgan, who despite his humble beginnings as the son of slaves, recognized the importance of education, ideation, and entrepreneurship, we too are living in a time of great innovation. Most recently, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen businesses adapt to ensure the safety of their employees and their communities. Most significantly, we've seen individuals, whole communities, your own schools, close and rally behind our essential workers, like transit workers, nurses, service industry workers, and those providing the critical services that keep us all moving. And that's what we do in transportation. We keep things moving. We're teaming with new ideas focused on sustainability, traffic reduction, active transportation. And I know there are some of you that enjoy active transportation, like scooting and biking, and maybe even a hoverboard or two. But this competition really highlights the critical role that creativity and innovation play, and you are students. Thank you again, all of you, for your participation and your dedication. You've uh, inspired us to take action to view the world with a new perspective. And we're so looking forward to seeing how you contribute going forward. So the winters win above and beyond, and it's now time to announce them. So my little tiny drum roll here, boom, 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 boom. In third place, and the winners of the official award plaque and $200 for the classroom is the American Indian Child Resource Center for their project, Day and Night, which looks into hybrid electric and solar charging stations for devices and doubles as light sources around transit stations. Congratulations, we will be making this announcement on our website and in a press release as well. In second place, the winners of an official plaque as well as $300 for the classroom is Aptos Middle School for their project EcoDrive, which proposed a, a bioethanol powered car with CO2 absorbing components. That's so awesome, <laughs> congratulations. And finally, in first place, and the winners of a $1,000 cash prize and a plaque, and special recognition from our trustees, is California Montessori Project for their fast, easy, smart, a sustainable AV plan for cities, which proposes a system for the deployment of autonomous vehicles that meet societal needs, as well as safety and environmental concerns. A hearty congratulations to all of our winners today. And though everybody seems to be on mute, I'm clapping. I think my seven-year-old is back there clapping. So yay, yay, yay. And let me again offer my personal congratulations to all of you. Thank you to the families that joined us today, to the participants, to the teachers, to the mentors, to the staff, a special thank you to Tyler Monson for helping from Caltrans to lead this effort. Now, just a few final official comments. Um, you completed this competition or you supported someone who did in this moment of crisis in our nation. Simply put, in these difficult times, you remain strong. And students, that is something to hold on to. You didn't let this current state of affairs disrupt your personal education, your growth. You seize the opportunity to continue and to show resilience. And we 
thank you and we share your enthusiasm and congratulate you and wish you a terrific summer 